So friends, I was challenged by the gospel. I was challenged, challenged by the purity of Jesus Christ. I was challenged by Jesus' claim, the Jesus himself claimed, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. I was challenged that I have met a person who is so pure, if anyone can represent God on earth is Jesus Christ. And then I was challenged by these Bible verses when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. An Egyptian sister, an Egyptian lady, who was the mother of a couple of my friends, was the first one to speak to me directly about Jesus. And I praise God for ladies. I praise God for ladies who carry Jesus. And that was our sister, I used to call her mom later, Sania, from Cairo, Egypt. She visited Lebanon. She spoke to me about Jesus. It was a challenge. I defended the Quran. I defended my faith. I defended everything I know, every trick about Islam I brought. Yet she insisted. And another verse she used to mention, لَيْسَ بِأَحَدْ غَيْرِهِ الْخَلَاسِ there is no salvation in anyone except him in the book of Acts. And then John uh, 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I used to say Muhammad and the Quran, she would say, no, 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 Jesus is the only savior. Those words, as by the Holy Spirit, started to hammer on me. So I started to feel the conviction. I started reading the scripture. And by reading, my life started to be cleaned gradually. It was very hard. I spent one and a half years in struggle, like in the fighting within, between what I have learned, and I learned the Quran well. I think I memorize, still have like half of it and what I am finding in the Word of God. These findings were so challenging. And then I came to believe in Jesus Christ. I spent like six months, another six months extra, as a nominal Christian, as yes, believing in Jesus. I started singing. My life was more and more turning to us Jesus Christ. I remember I have visited Egypt 1971. So I am well long established Christian. 1971 I visited Egypt. God used that time that this dear sister, my mom in Christ used to take me to different churches, something I have learned. She had a membership in one church, but she was in fellowship with others. Wonderful. Praise God for that. Something was soaked in me. And then I used to pray for food, thank God for food, go to the church on Sunday. My friends would like to go out and say, I will go out after Sunday service. So I was attached to the church, attached to the Word of God, and I started singing. I remember one day I was doing the washing up, something I love to do at home. And I was at mom's home visiting. After lunch, I went to the kitchen to, the do, to do the washing up. And I was singing. And the song I was singing in Arabic, Yaswa anta ta'alam anna shahawat al-alam takhda'ani tahir qalbi tahir fikri isma' surakhi anqizni 
Tata Her Kalbi Jesus you know that the desire the lust of this world this evening purify my heart purify my thoughts listen to my prayer and rescue me when I left the kitchen I found my mom weeping she said you haven't committed to Christ yet and you think like that I was sincerely seeking I was sincerely looking at Jesus and that concentration of Jesus let me forget about the Quran and the negativity in Islam looking at the purity of Jesus so when he claims he is God he is God that what attract me and then back to the Lebanon in a small meeting the preaching was about the new birth and the preacher was saying you who pray the Lord's prayer our father who art in heaven are you born again is God really your father and I looked at myself I was yes praying that but still I haven't experienced haven't committed totally it was a moment it was my moment as God the Holy Spirit pushed me in a corner I'm a sinner still Jesus is the only Savior I prayed and the brother who prayed with me a Jordanian brother he opened to the book of St. John the chapter 6 of St. John and asked me to read that verse all who will come to me all, all whom the Father will give me will come to me and those who will come to me I will not drive away I prayed confessed my sins accepted Jesus and this brother asked me what did you do I said I accepted Jesus I confessed my sins accepted his sacrifice for me and what did he do according to his promise he welcomed me he accepted me since then I knew that in Christianity there is no perhaps and maybe what I learned in the Quran is that right maybe your Lord will forgive your sin so it is head or tail it is no assurance here I have an assurance all the promises all the promises in the scripture when I take them by faith they are mine that is how over 50 plus years I am putting my trust on this book and on Jesus Christ he authenticated this book by his life authenticated this book it is a testimony of Jesus it is the life of Jesus it is who Jesus is that will give credit to this book I hold in my hand you cannot find a fault in Jesus he said the head of this world will come and will find no fault in me that is Jesus and you want me to think of another religion there is no way now after as we mentioned after all those years there is no way to go back because I have the promises I will tell you an experience because Christian life is not one experience it is not a dozen it is not a hundred multiple during the civil war in the Lebanon during the civil war in the Lebanon during the civil war in the Lebanon at that time in October 78 in Lebanon we had one month no running water no bakery nothing we used to find what is possible with the grains to eat and we had a barrel you know those old houses you have a barrel of water a month a week before the end of that terrible October I went to see how much water do we have and it was like that at the bottom and we don't know when we will have running water forget about washing 
we had spirit, spirit, alcohol, spirito, to wipe our bodies so we don't stink. Hardly a water to have a sip, drink. Worse than that, I look in the barrel of water and I found a lizard, dead lizard. I brought a twig and I wanted to take that lizard out. It was ruined. Ages, apparently ages there. What did I do? Because I haven't told the family. And we continued using the water. I remember what is written in the Gospel of St. Mark. They drink poisonous and will not harm them. Now, liberal theology, which I find, will say these are addition in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 16. They are not authentic. But I took them by faith. I trusted the Lord for me and for my family. Do you think we were poisoned? Do you think I died because of that? You have the verdict. I'm alive because I took that word by faith that nothing will harm me.